Well, here we are. Hoffed up a red eye flight, landed at 5 a.m., running on 20 hours with no sleep. It's gonna be a long day. We got into a taxi and headed straight to Myeongdong. We couldn't check into our hotel until 2 p.m., so we had lots of time to kill. First stop was, of course, a convenience store. I knew the prices were affordable here, but I am still blown away that soju is like $1.50 when in the States it will cost you $5 to $6 a bottle. Our first meal was traditional Korean porridge. You can see all of my food ratings on this trip in a separate video. Headed over to Iksandong to Cafe Hop. First stop was Cheongsudang Cafe, famous for their beautiful entry and interior. All the cafes here immerse you in such a unique experience. We got their egg coffee, some desserts, and just enjoyed the late morning hustle and bustle. Still had plenty of time to kill, so we walked around Iksandong and did quite a bit of window shopping. Everything was super adorable and totally my style. If I was being unreasonable, I would have walked away with so many things, but I definitely held back. Saw a lot of other cafes and restaurants in this maze-like alleyway and landed at Soha Salt Pond because again, such a unique cafe experience. We got some bread to go because there was no space to dine in, but if you come here, you gotta get the cream bread. Our hotel had a beautiful view of Namsan Tower, so we kicked our feet up to rest, caffeine loaded, and headed to Myeongdong Shopping Street. I love and hate the shopping here, love the style and cut of the clothes, but sizing is very limited with most items being one size or free size. If you need to buy clothes, beauty items, or gifts, Myeongdong is the place to do it. When they tell you to pack lightly, they mean it because you can fill your suitcase up pretty fast. Ended our first night with some Korean barbecue, or I guess they just call it barbecue here. Follow for more.